Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome back to the bar. It's cocktail. It's Wednesday. It's 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 Wednesday. It's not it's not cocktail. How is everybody today? I hope y'all are doing well. Lola, hello. Have you been? I heard a cam has been crossing stitches. I have. Oh my goodness. I actually don't have. Speaking of which, indeed, indeed, I have been crossing stitches the other day. Anna and I have been looking at some cosplay stuff, and so I bought myself an embroidery kit. We've been, I've been teaching myself how to embroider a little bit. I don't have my stuff on me of the progress that I've been working on, but I've been, I've been, maybe I'll showcase it at some point in time. I'm not very, very far into it. The, the Ada, the fabric is, is white. And so is the thread that I'm currently embroidering into it. So it doesn't have much contrast to it, but I'm having a great time with it so far. Um, so, oh, I should take this off. I'm not dancing to the music anymore. That's what I was doing before. I've, uh, I decided to bring a new habit into my life. Uh, music is awesome. Music is great to dance to. It makes me feel good inside when I move my body around. So I decided that before stream starts, I'm going to dance to the music a little bit. It's something that I like. You don't have to like, but if you're into that, you can dance along as well. I encourage everyone to dance along as well. I'm not even dancing to the music beat anymore because I can't hear it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I love that. Well, I hope everyone's doing wonderful tonight. In case you didn't notice either, I have new lights. I finally got myself some lights that I can use to fully utilize the space that I find myself in. It's actually kind of cool. I have, I express full control over these lights too via wireless energy, which I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be able to say, hey, Google, turn the lights off and for it to just follow my order because it's about to, right? No, oh my God. Well, I thought it was going to, but it actually didn't. But I can just do this at a whim and it's really cool. Oh, no, I didn't click the right button. Here we go. Oh, it's gone. And now it's dark and nobody can see me anymore. But alas, then I turned the lights back on and the camera adjusted. It's actually really cool. It's really awesome. I love that. Very cool. And hope we had fun with it. Oh, dear. I'm doing a fancy. I'm doing a fancy today. I love it. I managed to, uh, from the support of, I didn't do this on my own. From the support of you people, the community, I was able to snag a new microphone, which I think sounds good, which means I have two now, which means I have a microphone here and I have a microphone over the desk, which is super exciting. Plus, we were able to upgrade the lights, which I've been totally dissatisfied with. And now I had the opportunity to play around with it and get things going. I hope it looks okay. I, I got that, got that blue aesthetic. Blue is my favorite color, so I'm a little biased here, but if you got any, obviously, if anybody has tips, tricks, suggestions, or just like, just like random criticism that you want to throw in my direction, I've been told I take criticism rather well, so I'm open to any sort of communication you may have on that. In any case, y'all didn't come for me to talk about my lights, unless did you? If you did, I would happily be talking, I would, I was just thinking the other day, if anyone were to ask me to talk about literally any of the stuff that I do to make this show possible, I would be happy to do that. I'm a very technological person. I would love to be able to walk through all the intricacies of how I got this thing set up and what I needed to do to make this sound good and how I got that to look all good. I love that kind of stuff. It's great. Google, well, well, now that you're showing off, I want to be difficult. And so, so my phone started listening to me, which was kind of funny. Uh, although I have the assistant over there. I have the assistant over there, right? Hey, Google, say something. My day is going wonderful. How about yours? Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. I hope I got picked up on the microphone. Final Rhapsody, what's going on? Do a Star Wars guide to streaming. I would love to do something like that. Although, oh, shush, shush. Hey, Google, stop. No, no, no. I'm done talking to you. You don't need to know about streaming. Hey, shush, shush, shush. Is she there? I don't know. I've seen, I've th thought about the concept of like doing like little tutorials about the things that I do and whatnot. And I, I mean, I, I gotta think like, I don't feel how much I'm contributing because I feel like there's a lot of people who have done it as well. But like, I'm sure that there's some small intricacies and uniqueness about my own particular process that people may benefit from. And to be honest, my, my, my reservation of not doing it is like this because my, if I tell myself, oh, I feel like people have done it before, literally people have been doing cocktail stuff for like tons of years or whatever. Like this is this concept of live cocktail making is not new. You can go to a bar and you can get a cocktail made for you live right there and talk to a bartender. It's not a new concept. It's not a new concept on Twitch either. I'm not fulfilling any particular niche. I'm just doing what I do that's fun. So I have no reason not to. Speaking of cocktails, I was looking, I actually, we went to this. So let me back up a little bit. Speaking of cocktails, I have a cocktail book. Speaking of cocktail book, I went to a bookstore. Speaking of bookstore, I went to the bookstore on the way back from something I was doing with my fiance last week. Last week, 
on Thursday, we went, we visited a uh, another wedding venue. Uh, so Anna and I have been really, really looking into the details of getting our wedding set up. It's going to be taking place in about a year and a half from now. I'm really, really excited about it. I was kind of, I was turned on to being able to go out to venues and whatnot. I think I mentioned the bridal expo I went to a couple, a uh, couple of weeks ago. We got a, a uh, we, we were able to visit a venue from that, which was really cool because we won like a little basket of something. There's, there's stuff from that pat basket somewhere around here, but I don't. I don't, I don't have it on me. It's over on the table, I think. There's like a sash that says bride to be, which I think I have behind my stream setup over there. I got, we got a couple of champagne flutes. We got a bottle of champagne, which I can't wait to crack open for a recipe that uses champagne. There's many champagne cocktails out there. And maybe I can get a lot of mileage out of that bottle. Maybe, maybe cocktail stream. We just use champagne cocktails so I can actually use all the champagne bottle. That's a good idea. I'm gonna have to try to write that one down. There we go. I'll write that one down. But so on our way back from one of the venues we visited last week, Anna's like, we gotta stop into we gotta stop in the um we gotta stop in the bookstore because there's a little bookstore on our on the way home from uh, Center City all the way up to our apartment. And so we stopped in and I found this really I was I couldn't I had a really hard time trying to find like the cocktail section or like the wine and beer section, and I found a couple books, but this one stuck out to me in particular. And it says the Ultimate Guide to Spirits and Cocktails, which I bought for six, $6, is according to the, the photo up there, by Andre Domine. And at first I was like, well, any anybody who touts a book about spirits and cocktails and the ultimate guide, I don't know, kind of feels like it's overdone. Like, if I told you this is the ultimate guide to streaming, you'd be like, yeah, right, dude. Of course it is. No, it's not. But I was actually quite taken back. So in this book, usually when I buy a book, excuse me, Usually when I buy a book, I'm expecting recipes and whatnot. And this book had recipes. Don't get me wrong. It does have a good number of recipes in it. However, the recipes in this book really only take up... Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm finding all the... Uh, do, 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 do. Cocktails and original recipes. Yeah, it's about only... I don't want to lose my page because I'm looking at a cocktail. Only about this much of this book is cocktails. The rest of this book is all about like the details about like how some spirits came to be talking about like how like whiskey's made in different parts of the world or what a whiskey is versus a whisk why i suppose if you depending on how you spell it and whatnot and plenty of other different like cocktail ingredients out there that i've never even heard of one of the books that we, uh, anna got for me a while ago i have my books back here now my library is accessible now it's very convenient um oh there it is one of the books that anna got me has a bunch of those spirits that I can't quite, I, I can't quite, like, index on because I don't know what they are. First time, nice books. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got a couple of books here, They're nice ones. I got all, all those books, all those books in the back. And I think I've opened up every single one of them. No, I haven't. I added a couple of my non-cocktail related books over there. But, um, but yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of spirit names out there that I just don't recognize and know absolutely nothing about. And as it turns out, this book is a, this big book here is a large lexicon that seemed to have a lot of that information. Whether you're asking about grappas or calvados or tui, tuica, which I believe is a sharka, I, plums and que, quetches. I don't, I don't know this word. This is a new word to me. This is a new word. Oh my God. This is a new word to me. Right up here. Quetches? Quetches? I'm unsure. Oh goodness, the book is coming all apart. That's okay. That's okay. My favorite spirit is a ghost. That's a good one. I like that. I appreciate those cocktails. You know, I had a buddy of mine. I had a fraternity brother of mine who one time was very, very drunk, and he came up to me and said, "Cameron, I know you like your cocktails. Do they ever talk to you?" And I was like, "No, buddy. They they don't usually talk to. Uh, they well, they don't usually talk to me. Why would they be talking to me?" He was like, "Well, I've heard that you can talk to the spirits of your medium," and I was like, "Ha ha." Good one. You are very drunk. I'm not going to make you more drunk. Please have a wonderful, safe rest of your night. It was... I like puns. I, I like to make puns in the show. I have a weird question, says Lorelai. Due to seeing way too many ads in theaters for Pepsi Nitro, does draft just refer to a drink's texture and beer is just the most common to have draft as a feature to it? Banshees, though. Ghouls? Ghouls? Banshees? Ghouls? Ghouls? Ghouls and spooky things. I've always wanted to... I, I've had ghost stories. I mean, I'd be getting too off tangent if I started talking about ghost stories. I have a couple of them. I don't know if ghosts are real. I don't know. I'm a very skeptical person. Draft. I think... I don't know very much about this, so I could be pulling things out of my butt right now. However, I want to say things that they have on... I think a draft beer... You know what? I actually have no idea. I'm going to ask the internet that, because now I'm really curious. What is a draft beer? That's what I want to know. What is a draft beer? I know the term draft, D-R-A-F-T, is different than draft, D-R-A-U-G-H-T. 
a draft beer. Oh, draft beer, the way that I spelled it the second time. Draft beer, also spelled draft with the F, is beer served from a cask or keg rather than from a bottle or can. Draft beer served from a pressurized keg is also known as keg beer. That answers that question. Ghouls and vamps can get pretty solid, totally, but like real vampires, not that sparkly twilight stuff. Listen, if I was a vampire, I, I don't know what would happen to me. You would think if I drank blood that my skin wouldn't be so white and sparkly that it'd be kind of have like a red tint to it. Honestly, it doesn't really make sense to me. In any case, so I managed to grab this book and there was a cocktail recipe that I really wanted to get into uh, into it because it's something that I haven't actually done on this segment of the show before. I've never actually used coffee, like actual coffee in the drink of choice there. Oh my god, what is going on here? Chat's going crazy. If it's not like that bath that fits in your hand, what's even the point of being real, really? Twilight vampires are great though. If Final Rhapsody were a vampire, he would not be dating someone centuries younger than you. Clearly, you have morals that lie, that are in line with the ethics and laws of society, which I feel like if you're a law-abiding citizen that speaks a lot to a particular vampire, you're a very lawful, lawful neutral, perhaps? Lawful evil? Maybe you're just lawful in general. Everybody got laws to find. It's great. It's great. And fair. Fair indeed. Well, while y'all are talking about vampires, let me dive deeper into this cocktail here. So when I was going through, I just wanted to try to have something that was coffee related. So as I was looking through the coffee drinks, I also learned another new word, and that word is salubrious. So I found a salubrious coffee page, which I will showcase. This drink is the one that we are going to try to make, and it is called... Let me put it up to the camera so everybody knows. It's called Blackjack, and it's a salubrious cold coffee drink, technically speaking. The coffee that I enjoy is not usually cold, although I have made some cold brew on occasion, which I very much enjoy at times. However, I'm going to be actually making some fresh coffee here. I have a coffee machine, a coffee machine, espresso machine that I got at a thrift sale a while ago, and I haven't used it in a hot minute. But I do have some coffee, and I have an espresso machine, so we're going to make espresso and put it into a coffee. I actually... In case my machine doesn't work, I actually did bring some, I st I didn't bring, I stole espresso from work. I literally took three pouches of this stuff and put it into a container. It's cold by now, so that's exactly what the cocktail calls for. That or we'll just like cool it down with some ice. There's plenty of ways to cool a cat, so to speak, I suppose, if you want to, if you want to put it in that perspective. So, Blackjack, a coffee cocktail, is made by using, and it's actually very interesting, this book measures in bar spoons, ounces, and centiliters, which is interesting. I personally have never had a reference for what how many ounces or milliliters a bar spoon is considered because the bar spoons vary in size. I have a couple of different bar spoons, one of which is, oh wait, they're, in, they're over here now. I changed things up. This is my bar spoon. I have no idea how many ounces are supposed to fit in this thing. I, I don't know, so I have basically no reference. However, they, according to this book, a single bar spoon or two bar spoons is equal to one centiliter, which would be equal to 10 milliliters, which means a single bar spoon is five milliliters. So now, now I have that as a reference. And so this cocktail calls for brandy, kirsch, which I suppose they mean kirschwasser. That's the only kirsch that I've ever heard of. It's an eau de vie. It's supposed to taste like cherries. It tastes mildly like cherry peels, I think, in my opinion. Cold espresso and sugar syrup, which I assume they mean a simple syrup, which... It's syrup, and it's got sugar in it. Then again, most syrups have sugar in it, so I wouldn't be going too far as to say that. The simple syrup is going to do the job just fine. And if it isn't, then, well, I guess I've modified yet another cocktail in my life. Not the first thing that I've done, certainly not the last thing I'll do. So, I'll put this book away, and we'll start doing some mixing. So I start putting the cocktails together. Cocktails. It's a single cocktail. It's the cocktail hour. Oftentimes, I can only fit one in it, but I was able to squeeze in two the other day. So, let's do... I don't know. I'll do the small side. I don't really know which side you're supposed to do. For Actually, I'll do the big side because it's a lot easier for me to go like this than it is for me to be like, ah, so like that, I think. I don't know. Personal preference, I suppose. In any case, I'm going to grab some ice over here. Put some ice in my shaker. Things got to be cold. On the bright side, I don't have to keep this thing hot. Although sometimes hot drinks are nice. I made a hot toddy-ish drink once. That was very pleasant, actually. One big, large cube and a couple of small cubes. That's the way I've been taught to do it. I've been conditioned to do so. If somebody else has a better suggestion, I'm all ears. I'm all ears indeed. Oh my goodness. There is a, definitely a conversation going on about high school vampires and more goals about... I don't even know. I can only imagine stories about high school vampire jocks, which I'm sure there is already a canon out there somewhere or some fandom that has adopted, us, adopted it for us. 
Uh, the first ingredient we need is brandy. I only have one brandy. It's E and J, brandy, VS. I actually found out the other day, or actually it was in this book that I learned a little bit, that apparently the, there are different, like, I think it's different types of brandies out there, and the labels that you see on them, whether it's VS or XO or something, actually tells you a little bit about, like, the brandy's process, I think. I could be pulling that one out of my butt too. I don't really know. I haven't read this entire book. I literally just got it last week and I'm not a very avid reader. However, I do like to reference things every once in a while. So this, well, actually this brandy since 1975 has used only the highest quality grapes to make E&J brandy. Aged for a minimum of two years in a blend of oak and bourbon barrels, the result is American brandy at its finest, a fruit forward style so smooth it can be enjoyed straight up or mixed. It's the brandy that started it all, light-bodied, crisp, and refreshing with hints of apple, toasted oak, and vanilla that round out the flavor. I believe it because I have nothing to give as reference. So what we're going to need is a measuring the jigger. I have my measuring the jigger. It's over here. And I need, I don't usually keep the book over there, two bar spoons worth of brandy, which is about 10 milliliters worth, which is about a third of an ounce's worth. So I'm going to go with that. I don't think I have a marker for a third of an ounce, but if I see the half ounce, the one ounce here and the half ounce there, I'm going to go a little below it and call it a third of an ounce. Or that's going to be my guess. Third of an ah! Okay, well, it's about a half an ounce. That's okay. I try to work in absolutes if I can. If I can't, whatever. Just how it has to be. The next ingredient that we need is a little bit of kirsch. Just a wee little bit of kirsch. I believe this is supposed to imply Kirschwasser. This is the only thing that contains the word Kirsch in my collection. It is by Schl Schlatterer, Schlatterer? Alfred Schlatterer from Schwarzwälder Hausbrennerei, Brenner which I don't know what that means in German, which is not a first. I speak German a little bit, definitely not fluently. I try my best. Now, Schlatterer, it's cherry. It's, it's, I believe it's made from cherries from the Black Forest, which is great. Black Black Forest Cherry Brandy. Yep, it says it right on the Yep, right on the bottle. You're doing my job for me. Thank goodness. I love it when people accurately label their products. Accurately, succinctly, but also with enough detail to be able to appreciate that. I appreciate that. Plus, it's got a little wax seal that I just accidentally peeled off a little bit. That's... I don't need that. Whoops. I don't actually have a use... I used to melt wax just for fun, but I haven't done it recently. I... I don't think I need to. So we need a single ounce of Kirsch. Full ounce. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed. No, no, I did that right. This is the one ounce side. For a moment, I thought halfway up was one ounce, which is wrong. So I did not put in enough brandy. I didn't even put a quarter in. I need more brandy. Oh my gosh. I had like a brain fart. I was like, what do these lines mean? These lines mean more than I think they do. I need to add a little bit more because I did not add enough brandy. Some could say you could never have enough brandy. I don't know. Personally, I'm a rum guy. I like rums, for better or for worse. But I do like gin, too. Actually, I, I tried to make myself, like, a lemonade gin cocktail the other day. Just equal parts lemonade and gin. And I put way too much gin in there. And it actually was not very palatable. I did not do a very good job of that. I was I was not proud of that occasion. But we all have to fail sometimes in order to succeed. Um, I'm also running out of gin. Uh, I spilled a little bit of my cash. <laughs> I just spilled my kirsch on my counter. That's so unfortunate. That's good kirsch. It's good kirsch if I've ever seen it. Although I've only ever seen one kirsch, which now that I say kirsch so many times, sounds like it should be sexual slang. But let's not let's not look too deeply into that. Let's not look too deeply into se uh, sexual slang when we have children being mentioned in chat. Now, in addition to the kirsch, we will need cold espresso. So in order to create the cold espresso, we can go one of two ways. We can either A, Use the mm, nine to 10 hour old espresso that I poured out this morning. It's been 12 hours, but it's been 12 hours since I poured out this espresso. Um, or we'll make it fresh. Um, I would say that you have a choice in the matter, but I tricked you, you do not. We're making fresh espresso because I have the opportunity to, and that's a rare occasion indeed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my espresso machine, and bring it on up. I found this at a thrift store, a thrift sale a little while ago. Actually, it wasn't a thrift sale. It was a, um, oh, what do you call those things? Flea markets. It was a townwide, no, townwide garage sale, which I think could be technically considered a flea market if you think about it, but let's not get into the semantics of it all. I bought it for cheap from a person I had no idea any background about, and they were selling it on their front porch. So that's all good. How, how un- Christian of me. Oh, not me. No, they're just talking about more children and stuff. 
whack. In any case, so I believe the way to use this apparatus, it has been a hot minute, is you take water and you pour it into this back spout over here. You let the thing go and you go for it. But I guess the first thing I need to do is I need to actually put coffee in this. So I'll remove the cap from out there. I will put this to the side. I will carefully pull this thing out. It is a glass container. It has not been cleaned recently because I just looked, took this off my counter that's been sitting in the back corner for a couple months now. And it smells like it needs a better cleaning than what I gave it this morning. I shall not do that yet because I just realized you have to have coffee in order to make espresso. So actually, before I get too far ahead of myself, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna carefully place this to the side and bring out yet another apparatus that I use significantly more often in the, in the espresso machine. And that is a coffee grinder because I need to make, I need to, I need coffee. I'll plug that in. I got a little plug down here, don't you worry. We're not without power in this house. Is that, is that worth a, is that worth a, is it worth a sh uh, close up shot? I don't know. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's do a close up of a coffee grinder. We have the ability to do so, so we shall. Close up to the coffee grinder. This is my coffee grinder. It is, it is a Mr. Coffee coffee grinder and Mrs. Coffee should be very, very suspicious because I'm getting oddly close to Mr. Coffee today. I don't know whether she would like that. Or perhaps Mr. Coffee also has another Mr. Coffee, in which case, watch out, boy. I'm coming for you, man. I need my, uh, my coffee. My coffee is down here. The coffee that I have for this exciting adventure is from a place called Brio Coffee Works. This is the package. I found it. I bought it while I was down south on my family vacation. However, oh, Laurel, I was actually commenting on me. Was trying to pun the camera and saying Kirsch sounded like sexy slang, but chats can get confusing. It's okay. So I'll take it. I'll take it, Mr. Coffee. Take Mr. Coffee. Accept Mr. Coffee. Mr. Coffee. We'll, we'll get to it in a moment, but I'm not a fan of Mr. Coffee's design. I have I have thoughts for Mr. and or Mrs. Coffee, or if Mr. Coffee has a partner, because I'm not a fan of it. Brio Coffee, I know absolutely nothing about, although this is their Periscope blend. Uh, has notes of dark chocolate, honey, and raspberry, and I picked it up down south. Brio Coffee works. I will... Ma ma maple? Maple and Nate. Magda and Nate? I can't read cursive. I don't know whose names these are. However, I thank them in particular. Community Coffee Collection. I think I had this once before um, in like actual coffee, but I don't really know. I don't exactly know how much I need in my espresso machine. Anything that I wind up, if I have extra, then I'm gonna wind up putting it into this little forever coffee pot of mine. It's not actually Folgers. It's just like any coffee that I couldn't Put into a particular cup at the time it's a it's my it's my cameron blend if you will it's got everything that i couldn't use in a cup at the time so uh how to use a coffee grinder well it's not that difficult all you need to, need to do is get yourself something that's sharp and spins really fast pour your beans in up to the fill line if you want that much i don't exactly know how much i need i'll go for a full one we'll set it to the setting that we need um fine because we're doing espresso and the most cups the most cups. That's the bottom one. So, and now it's as simple as close the top and click the button. Now, what was Mrs. Coffee needs a big red bow, a la Miss Pac-Man. Indeed, Miss Coffee needs a big, uh, well, I don't have a big bow over here, but maybe Miss Coffee will come out next time. If I can find them, I will find them. But so this, this particular apparatus, I'm not a big fan of the design of. In order to activate it, there is a button right up on top. I know it's probably designed safely. However, when I press the button, I feel like I'm sticking my finger into a sharp object, which I'm not a fan of. If this were open and I stick my hand in there, my finger, there is a blade at the bottom of that. I could hurt myself. But with this little piece of plastic that's supposed to protect me and my finger, we're okay. So all you need to do is click the button and hold for an uncomfortable amount of time. Um, this may get picked up by the microphone. I don't know if I want that. No, I do. I hope I hope this doesn't... Incoming loud sound warning. Oh, why aren't you working? Hello? Why aren't you working? Oh, you're not on the way? Now you're on the way. Coffee. Is that fine enough? I think it needs to be more fine. I'm gonna do that one more time. Coffee. Jigsaw approved of this, approves of this grinder. Well, it certainly does sound like some sort of saw massacre happening in here. 
Well, that's that's the coffee grinder. Thank you, for, thank you for joining me on the coffee grinder adventure. Now we have ground coffee, finely ground coffee, which you want to do for your espresso method of brewing because it requires small. It requires the coffee grounds to get all up and nestled within each other to be able to build up pressure to push the liquid through the coffee beans, the coffee mixture. In any case, now that I have my coffee grind. I need to fill up my little coffee thing. There's a word for it. I don't know what the word is, but it comes from my coffee machine. It comes from my espresso machine. This is an object. I don't remember what the object is called, but it's the part of the espresso machine that holds the coffee that will become the espresso. Oh God, he has a blender. No silly, it's a grinder. No silly, it's not a dating app. It's a coffee grinder. Although, I suppose there are coffee grinders out there, so to speak, and you are all lovely people. I am not one of you, unfortunately. I am nor coffee nor grinder. Oh well. Hey Cameron, what's your favorite horror movie? I don't watch a lot of horror movies. I like I like thrillers sometimes. I can't think of the last thriller I think that I watched was Chronicle, which is about these two kids who gain like telepathic power, and I think they wind up killing each other or something like that. It was a thriller. I liked it. I really haven't watched all the scary movies recently. I've always wanted to. I'm just not that kind of scary person. Okay, I need a spoon. I need my spoon. My spoon's in my drawer now. Hi there, spoon. Spoon in the drawer. Hi there. <laughs> I have my spoon. Oh, I actually, I use a drawer now. Take a look at this. I have a drawer for all of my, for all my fictions and whatnot. And I found my, oh, we're gonna need crushed ice later. I found my goggles. Finally, I have the protection that I know I've needed this entire time, but have been foolishly not using because it just requires effort, unfortunately. Chronicle is a sad movie. I in, recall it being one of my favorites in middle school for some reason, but I guess I'm kind of a sick person. Next time I'll come over with a bunch. Ooh. Scary movie time. So I need, where was I? Coffee, I need coffee. Don't worry about distracting me by the way. I get distracted by things literally all the time and it makes this stream more fun, more interactive and absolutely freaking wonderful. Anyway, speaking of things that are absolutely freaking wonderful, coffee, coffee makes my heart go and that's what's gonna happen to me. It is now, as of recording, 8.30 PM and I'm going to be jacked up on coffee for the next couple hours and it's also alcoholic. So take that into consideration. I am gonna fill up this little thing here with the coffee grounds. Uh, by the way, my coffee grinder is now completely unplugged. I would not be sticking metal objects into something that could possibly shock me or turn back on. That's silly, or at least mildly foolish. But you know, I've been a bigger fool in my days. I mean, I've made some pretty dumb decisions in my life. One time I stood on a picnic table that looked like it was rotting. Yeah, I fell through it, I broke it. It was in my parents' backyard. They were particularly angry at me for it. Not a problem. Um, I'm gonna fill this thing all the way up to the top. I don't know exactly how much espresso I- well, I need an entire ounce of espresso. So that's just how it's going to be. And I'm just gonna make the maximum that I can because, you know what? When you're gonna do anything, you might as well do it completely. Uh, so what I'll do is, the whole point of espresso is to get things all pressurized. So I'm gonna fill that up as much as I can to the top. And then, I'm just gonna kind of like poke it with my bar spoon to try to pack it in there as much as I can. Tactically, you're not supposed to pack it super duper tight but you're supposed to pack it at least a bit. And this may take a little bit because I don't have um, the proper puck required. There's, a, there's an apparatus that you use for this. It's a small little a small little container. It's No, it's not a container. It's like a small cylindrical thing where you just kind of press into the coffee and that you'd be able to push it like this. However, I do not I do not have one of those. I do not own one of those. Uh, if I do coffee slash espresso more often, I could probably get one of those, but I just haven't. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm no coffee, I'm not a coffee connoisseur. I am not an espresso connoisseur. I can't even pretend to know what to expect flavor-wise from this coffee based off of the type of bean that it is or the grind or the fineness or la la la, whatever. I just know coffee bitter, coffee dark, remind me of chocolate, make me happy. And sometimes very, very anxious because that's that's an effect that coffee can have on people. Anywho, it's Mr. Coffee's back. Mrs. Coffee is still jealous, and I'm gonna put this into my container. There's a particular way to go about doing it, and I do like that. I try to turn it on. This was going, I literally did not fail doing this earlier. What are you doing? Mm. Maybe I need to do it the other way. I think I need to do it the other way. There's definitely a sign on the front that I can't see that tells me how to do it, right? Yep. Yep, 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 see? See, do you see? Right there. Right there. It tells me exactly how to do it, but I cannot see. I was blind, but now I see. Go in from the other side. Why don't you? Yeah, do what, do what you're supposed to do, Cam. Do what you're supposed to do. Oh my god. 
why do you have to make things difficult for me? Other way, here. I'm struggling with this, I'm sorry. Come on, get in there. Coffee time! Coffee time? Coffee time! Alright, that took way too much effort. <laughs> I have. Can you tell I haven't used this machine in a hot minute? Anyway, so I am now going to stack this coffee machine. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Not yet! We have to add water! There are so many steps to making coffee. It's no wonder I use a uh, Keurig for this because it just, it's a lot of work sometimes. I need, I need water. Here, let's zoom out for that. Time to pour out water. I wish my zooms were quicker. I I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure out ways. I'm gonna take one of my glasses, fill it up with water. I'll take a stein. I got a beer stein. And what I'm gonna do is utilize the surfaces that I have for myself to be able to make things easier. So I'm gonna put my Brita filter on top of my espresso machine. Please don't fall. It'd be really sad if you fell. And now, oh, this is so convenient. Water. H2O. Wow. You know, 100% of people who contain dihydrogen monoxide will die. But on the bright side, so will the rest of us. <laughs> anyway, let's pour water in here and try not to get it everywhere. I'm going to get it everywhere. We're going to do it anyway. Water! Oh my god! That's okay, this is why I have a towel. Where's my towel? No. Oh, there you go. It's okay. Shit happens. Shit happens. Hydrate your beans! Hot bean water! That's what coffee is. It's hot bean water. Alright, I- see, I did this silly, and I could have done this better. Hi there. This is my friend Glass. He has a spout. Spout is easier for pouring. I use a, I utilize a couple of glasses today. Some would say that's a good thing. Now let's do this correctly. Apply your water to your coffee machine. Don't fill it up too high, because if you do, you'll be swimming in your coffee, not drinking it. <laughs> I don't know how much water I need in here. That's probably enough. Yeah, that looks like enough. That's probably enough. And if it isn't, I'm gonna ignore that problem. All right, the next step is dry off your yoga blocks. Put that liquid on the floor. Nobody needs it. Nobody wants it. Grab your yoga blocks for your presentation and seal your Mr. Coffee espresso machine. There's a little knob in the back. Get it all nice and tight. This is going to create a chamber for pressure to build. Pressure building. I'm going to move this into the focus area because we're going to make coffee. We're going to make espresso and we're going to watch it happen. I think. There's my little, there's my little container. A little container that will hold the espresso. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Zoom in just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's perfect, that's great. Now, I'm gonna plug in this bad boy and turn it on. There's a little dial on the side. This little dial, which you can't see because it's in the back. Here, this little... Oh, I gotta zoom out now. This is a dial. This little dial, if you push it forward from my perspective will create steam out the side there's actually no pressure built right now so it's not going to do anything it's just going to kind of drip a little bit of water however if you turn it the other direction it will eventually start heating up so this although you probably can't tell is creating espresso it will eventually start making sounds and when it does we will show that under pressure dun dun oh wait wait hold on <clears throat> let me start that over under pressure, doom 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 Pressure! The beans are under pressure. That's that's what they are. And I can hear it making sounds. Anybody else hear those sounds? I can hear it making sounds. Trust me, trust me. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Just kidding. I'm the crazy one. Uh, I guess I'll prepare the next ingredient for this, because there is one more ingredient after this. The next one is four bar spoons worth of sugar syrup. Um, um, bam. This is my sugar syrup. It's not a vodka bottle. It is a vodka bottle, but this is my sugar syrup. It's simple syrup. It's the same one that I've been using. Uh, I'll just add that onto my cocktail shaker. So, uh, I still have it. It's still got all the ingredients from before. I'm just gonna real quick add four bar spoons worth, bar spoons worth or about 20 milliliters, so we'll call that like two-thirds of it. That's two-thirds of an ounce. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of math here. Math is fun, so they told me. Math was fun, so I told myself. Math is no longer relevant in my, in my particular field for the most part. I just kind of, I don't really do that anymore. 
be honest. Two thirds of an ounce, bigger than half an ounce, but less than three quarters. This is the part. Give it a simple syrup. And then we actually, apparently we only use an ounce of espresso, which makes sense. Only a single espresso shot. There's, there's no need for more. The song that can trick you into fearing you are about to hear, Ice Ice Baby. Yes, and I believe that there were a bunch of copyright issues over that. Or maybe it wasn't copyright. I know somebody tried to sue someone else for use of that music. And I don't, I guess they failed because I now know both songs. Um, but I guess, I wonder if that was the, the beginning of like sample culture. It's actually very funny. Speaking of, all right, this is, are you making coffee yet? You're not making coffee yet. All right, well, until this thing starts making coffee, because that's kind of what we're waiting on over here. I'm going to go back over here. Speaking of sample, sample music stuff, I was actually in the car uh, the other day with a buddy of mine. Oh, wait, 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 it's doing something. Hold on. Anyway, I heard a song that reminded me of another song, because they used the same sample, and one was, I don't remember what the song was. Oh, it's making coffee. Look at that. Oh, nice. Making espresso. So finally, the pressure has built. Consumption! Uh, not that. That's hot. Uh, I'm gonna consume water. Where my water at? Epic! Nice. What else we got going on here? Consumption. Oh, you know, come to think of it. Oh. My bot didn't say anything. Interesting. Does the consumption reward tend to take a shot during cocktail streams? Only at my discretion. Wow, you can't see anything around here. Alright, that's a lot of coffee. I don't need any more than that. That's fine. That's fine. That's that's enough espresso. I don't need any more of that. It can become that. And I just realized my bot didn't say anything. Bot. Bot, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let me see if I can debug that right now. With my, my bot not doing the thing it's supposed to do. Do 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 Ugh, bot failed. Demand refund. Oh no, it's okay. I can I can monitor things. Let me see. If this whole test thing doesn't work out, I'll have to figure it out another time. Work out. Let's try that. Hey, it worked! Well, I don't know why it didn't work, but I gave myself an exercise to do. What is that exercise? Throw some punches! None of this is entertaining because I'm behind the coffee machine. Well, the bot seemed to work, but it didn't want to work for you, which is rather unfortunate. I'll have to look into that. I apologize for inconvenience. We, uh, we run a tight shop around here. Oh, also, by the way, this thing can also produce steam. And the steam can be produced. Uh, I don't have a proper apparatus for the steam. Do I? Well, here, here. Take my word for it. Or actually, don't take my word for it. Watch it with your own eyes. This spout over here can produce steam. And if I move this in the other direction, we might be able to see some steam coming out of it. Careful. The contents of this machine are under pressure. Quite literally. Dum 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 dum. If we open it, I may hurt myself. Which I'm not intending to do. Steam. Action. In three. And two, and one. I'm releasing the pressure. And I will not be putting my hand over there. It's okay. Actually, we'll just let that drain, because I don't intend on doing coffee anymore tonight. I need to ask, how does it look? Anna has a question for me. How does it look? Anna's doing cosplay stuff. Let me ask the world. How does this look? Creepy? Do you think it will look good on my head? No, that one goes on me. That's Just kidding. Power. This would look better on Anna's head than mine. The other wig is the same color. There well, is no difference. Okay, I could only fluff the back a little bit, but do you think it shapes? Because it's the bangs one way and then that shapes. I think that looks good, honestly. I like that. So I like that. That looks good to me. <laughs> it's like a giant orange light bulb. Oh I have God. a pink one too. How hot is that steam? Mr. Coffee owns Valve. The answer is yes. These things may shock you. How hot is that steam? Steamy. <laughs> Proceeds to let the espresso machine play the game instead. Indeed. It looks like a giant orange light bulb. What character is it for? Pink? Pink? Oh, I have a pink. Oh, there's a pink bulb. mannequin head. Uh, or it's rather, it's kind of like a magenta color to be perfectly honest, but that's just, that's it just me. It was advertised as pink. Well, go get the pink one that people want to see if they're willing to share. That one. Okay, well, it's not finished yet, so y'all don't get to see it, it yet. What a tease. I say. Anyway, that took long enough, I guess. We now have espresso. It smells excellent, but we need cold espresso. And so yeah, what I'm going to do, oh, the pink one. I just have excuse, excuse. This is the pink one. It's a pink mannequin head. 
It is not a proper expectation for anybody to go towards. You don't need to have pink skin. Don't need to have orange skin. You can have whatever skin color you want. Oh, they're welcome. Why wouldn't you be? Wigs look great. I've been keeping up with it on the Insta. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. For anybody who doesn't know, I guess I, I, I feel so weird advertising things like that. There is an Instagram that has cocktail posts if you're into that kind of stuff. Don't drink alcohol. Alcohol is bad for you. And there's also a cosplay Instagram as well. Don't dress up. You're good in your own skin. Don't follow. Ever. Or do. I can't stop you. <laughs> I wish... <laughs> Annie, Annie wished she had pink skin without being sunburnt. That would be... I would truly be living in the best time if we could actually, like... Like, on command, it'd be really cool to change the color of my body so I could blend in with my surroundings. In that regard, I wish my body were every single color all at the same time, and sometimes none at the same time either. So I'm gonna get myself a large... Extra crispy... Nice and cold ice cube, and I'm just gonna put that into my espresso to try to cool it down. I'm wondering, the ice cube is gonna start cracking, so I wanna hear what kind of sounds this makes. Is it gonna crack? Yeah, come on, crack. Do the crackage. Maybe I need my bar spoon. Wait, where am I bar spoon at? I'll swirl it around so it gets colder. Faster. Where am I bar spoon at? I'm going with my bar spoon. Chameleon. Or some would say chameleon, because that's my name, and it's a pun, and we do puns on the show. Where's my bar spoon? I completely lost my bar spoon. Where did I put that thing? This thing isn't cracking the way that I wanted it to. That's very sad. Where did I put my bar spoon? Hello? It's a shame. I really only have one. Oh, you know what I do have? I picked up some glass stir rods at a, at a flea market this weekend. It was cool. An actual flea market. Hopefully the glass doesn't break because this is very hot liquid coming into contact with very cold object. Chameleon. Oh my god. Chameleon. Upgrade to octopus. Choose colors and visible textures. That. That would be dope. <laughs> and he was expecting Rice Krispie Treats level of crack. Usually it does. I'm actually surprised that it hasn't. Oh, well, is the espresso at least cold now? Is it mildly cold? I'm gonna put my finger in that. Uh, I'm afraid. Oh. Alright, that's... Yeah, that's that's cold. That is... That's like... That's not an uncomfortable level of cold. It's just... It's just not hot anymore. At all. It's less than room temperature. It's great. Did you ever finish that stirring drawing thing from Discord? So I never actually did. Oh my god! I kicked some bottles. I hadn't actually worked on it just yet. Uh, I got We had a lot of... Oh, context for those who aren't in the Discord. You should be in the Discord. We have lively discussions over there every once in a while. So what I'm trying to do is for the cocktail Instagram, I'm trying to have a way to portray how the drink is supposed to be made without actually spelling it out. I'd rather use an image. So I have a little... I tried to make a little cocktail, or I tried to make a little image that's supposed to look like, particularly this mixed glass in particular, with my bar spoon in it, which I still can't find. It has gone missing. It has disappeared on me. Um, and we had some discussion about how we should go about making that. I, I didn't get to implement the most recent ones. Just kind of just kind of busy. I have a couple things that I wouldn't work on probably tomorrow when I have the time for it. But as always, if I haven't said thank you already for the people who contribute in those conversations, thank you. I was honestly on the fence about whether I wanted to share it or not because I get a little... I I get a little nervous when I'm like sharing stuff that isn't in progress. I'm like, it has to be perfect before I before I put it on out there. Uh, but if I think it's perfect, then I'm not going to take the criticism very well. So it's kind of an internal battle that I've been going through. But I appreciate all sorts of criticism, all sorts of feedback. Because honestly, at the end of the day, I think it makes what we do here better. Or at the very least, it provides another perspective. And I think that type of attitude is a relatively good one for life itself. I've been, I've been learning how to be a better person in my mature years. I used to be an asshole as a child. But it's supposedly, I'm a little bit better than that now. And now, taste some of my espresso. That tastes, that tastes great. Where's my, the box says that it has hints of dark chocolate, honey, and raspberry. I got the chocolate almost immediately. I get that. It says honey, raspberry. That's good, that's good. Oh my god, we all were assholes in high school. You're absolutely right. I still remember what you did to me. One day, I will repay you. One day, all the comeuppances that I know and will deserve are gonna come whack me in the back because I, despite the fact that I don't seem like that kind of person, believe in a force of karma in the universe. It just feels right. In any case, coffee, coffee requires an ounce. We need an ounce of espresso. 
So let's do that. Cold espresso in particular. This little spout makes it very easy to pour. And we need an ounce of that. That is awesome. I love that little pouring spout on there. And now I have a bunch of coffee for the morning. Finally, one ounce of espresso. That's fancy coffee. It is. Where's it from? Oh, so I, this is from, this is from Brio Coffee Works. Um, I believe I bought it down in South Carolina while I was on vacation with my family. Um, I'll, I'll credit it when I, when I post the, when I post the recipe later on, I'll put the appropriate links and whatnot for the different things if you want to try it for yourself. Ch dark, notes of dark chocolate, honey, and raspberry. The blend is called Periscope for anybody who is interested. I think it tastes really, really good. I've had it before. Uh, I've had it in espresso as well, and I think it's very good. Oh, Final Rhapsody says Anna has already given me insider info. That's what you guys were talking about. I walked in, I walked in, uh, Final Rhapsody and Disney Kwan were all playing some game, were playing a game the other day, and I walked in and I definitely heard my name. I had the, uh, supposedly they say like your ear itches, your nose itches when people are talking about you. Well, my face was on fire, so I walked in and was like, what are you guys talking about? And they're like, nothing, nothing. Or Anna said nothing, so. It's okay, it's okay. I don't need to know, I don't need to know. Although, I'd love to know, but I don't need to know. Honestly, then it's more... If I know about it and can prevent it, then I don't get my comeuppance, and all that does is prolong the inevitable, which I think we get, we get that shit out of the way. If, if something's going to happen to you, you might as well get it over quickly. Personally, I feel that if we're about giving a presentation and you could be the last person or the first person, I would rather be the first person. That way I get it out of the way and I can watch everything else and not have to worry about it. That's the way I feel about that. Any case, so... Blackjack, baby. Blackjack called for two bar spoons or 10 centiliters, eight, or I'm sorry, ten, one centiliter, aka 10 milliliters, aka about one third of a, an ounce of brandy, uh, one ounce of Kirsch or 30, centili 30 milliliters, one ounce or about 30 milliliters of cold espresso, and four bar spoons or about four bar spoons, 20 centiliter, 20 milliliters, I keep getting that wrong, or about two thirds of an ounce of sugar syrup which i added already i added that while we were make, mixing up the coffee and whatnot so now we just gotta shake this thing up shake all ingredients in a shaker with ice filter into a cocktail glass with crushed ice and serve with a straw i got straws so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna wait just for a moment before i shake this up because the final part that we need is crushed ice so naturally we have a way to make crushed ice i'll get some crushed ice Final Rhapsody says you also set the bar if you go first. This is true. And if my the presentation sucks, then I'm naturally helping everybody else out because I set the bar real low. I was a pretty a rank student, so I set the bar pretty high. So everybody else was kind of below me. Just kidding. No, I did just as good presentations as everybody else did. I thought I was a good public speaker, but then I got into the world of people who speak better than I do. And I'm like, oh my God, I am merely a fish that I thought was big, but there are always bigger fish in the sea. So what I need is... Oh, okay, I have it. I have my my cheesecloth to catch my ice. So let's catch my ice. Get some ice. Catch that ice outside. Ooh. Now, let's add some ice cubes. I'm going to add two big ice cubes. One ice cube and another one. <laughs> Excuse me, Sis Final Rhapsody. Our bridge was amazing. Now, now, what Final Rhapsody is... is I was uh, referring to was back in freshman year of high school we had a project to create a bridge out of straws and I think they allowed tape or whatever and they allowed us to use an object to keep those straws together you could use tape you could use glue or whatever we decided to use bobby pins or safety pins so I think it was bobby pins so we literally stuck pins Not into bobby this bridge pins. what's that? Bobby no. pins are still Not bobby pins? Okay, well, we use sharp objects. We use needles in order to keep our bridge together. So we called our project Stabby Bridge because it was a bridge where if you were to hold it in just the wrong way, you would hurt yourself and give yourself puncture wounds, puncture damage. Uh, we did get an A on that. We did very well. It actually held... The, the point of the bridge project was to be able to make a bridge that could hold at least a kilogram of weight, and it did successfully, and be able to have a tennis ball rolled across it, and it did excellently. We did great in that class. It was wonderful. So... I'm gonna make myself some crushed ice the way that I usually do. However, this time, not only do I have the wrench of power, like I always do, but I also have protection. I have goggles because I finally found them. Anna, please step away. You are in, you're in my zone. I wouldn't want you to get hurt by any flying ice shrapnel. Oh, should I throw some flying fabric? No, 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 no. Don't throw any fabric over here. That's dangerous. Loud sounds in three, two, one. Ah! 
uh, I was referring to the ice, but Anna decided to join in. In which no, case, she's always allowed to. Screaming. Oh, the ice is screaming. I come to realizations every once in a while where, where I come to a point in my life and I have to take a step back and see what's really going on. And just, we, we visited another wedding venue today and there was a point where I sat down and I was like, I'm marrying this woman. Ah! Ah! Isn't that terrifying? It is terrifying. I was terrified. Look, That's why I had to respond. Would you, you found a brush? It's Can I see it? Brush. No, don't throw it. It's, oh, I was, <laughs> I was literally about to throw it. Not only do we finish each other's sandwiches, but we also finish each other's uh, predictions for the actions we're about to take. I just know you throw everything that's tiny. Yeah, I do sometimes. Anyway, excuse me for that little interlude. Oh God, my poor neighbors. Ah, can't believe the ice is still alive after all that. You poor, poor bastard. Anyways, so I need this ice. So actually what I'm gonna do, I usually don't put the ice into a container with which to pour it first, but I feel like that's a really good idea this time. So I'm actually gonna take the crushed ice and before putting it into my glass, I'm gonna put it into my Stir my stirring glass so that I can properly pour this thing without it making a total mess and getting everywhere. This is a smart idea, Cameron. This is a great idea, Cameron. Glad you thought of it, Cameron. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. You're welcome, Cameron. Anna, would you like to chime in? Nah, you're too confused by yourself. The answer is no. I'm gonna grab a yay little glass from over here. I don't want to touch my espresso machine. It's still, it's still very pressurized. Uh, let's set up the angle, huh? Set up the angle. Gotta set up the angle. Boopity boop boop. This is one of the glasses that I picked up at the thrift store the other day. It's awesome looking. It's so cute. Oh my god, look at this. It's so pretty looking. And my lights automatically adjust now. It's so pretty looking. I love things that look really pretty. Oh, and it's also got like a leafy pattern on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can kind of see that. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Putting someone on ice takes a whole new meaning. It's a beautiful glass though. Oh yeah, a beautiful piece of glass iceware that I have. I, at least a... Ice and glass get confusing in my vernacular. Anyway, let's take a zoom in. Let's go up for the close-up. Go for the close-up. Go for the close-up. Go for the close-up. Yes! Very good close-up, I think. Well, it could probably be better, but that's that's what we have. Yeah, we're in the top of the glass. We're gonna put crushed ice in here. Uh, not the big piece. Big piece, no good. Bad, bad big piece. Uh, put you in the water. I'm gonna put the big piece of ice that I'm not using in the Brita filter, because it will melt and become more water for the rest of us. All right, crushed ice. I only kind of want the small bits, so let's let's go for just the small bits if I can if I can handle that. All right, all right, all right. Yep. Well, if I had a shaved ice maker, this would be easier. But I got I got big pieces in there. I got big pieces. I cannot lie. How are you gonna I really, fit really any drink in that? I'm gonna fit as much drink as I damn well please in that. Oh my goodness! I have to shake the cocktail. I didn't shake the cocktail. Where's my thing? How to shake a cocktail 101 put two cups together fill it with something and then do the excuse my little sidestep there i had to check whether i'm supposed to strain this or not i probably do so i will oh that is such an interesting smell whoa I, that smells almost citrusy, but it's definitely the Kirschfoster. That's oh, this is gonna this is gonna taste so cool. Oh my god! Excuse me, I'm excited. Oh, a glass goblet if there ever was one, James Bond style. That's a lot more liquid than I thought there would be. All right, well, more for later. Look at you looking all. You were gonna be more brown. That's okay. This is a beautiful color. All colors are beautiful colors. What's your color? This is cool. James Bond style. I need a straw. I actually don't have a thin straw for this. Um, I have really big straws. Uh, uh, I'm gonna need to... <laughs> I'm gonna need to zoom out, zoom out to include the straw. I don't have... <laughs> I don't have any... I thought I just got everything that I needed for this cocktail. 
but I don't. And you know what? Because it's a coffee drink, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna garnish it with a little bean on top. Here we go. That looks perfect for a warm spring Sunday brunch. Maybe not with the straw though. Well, to each their own. I'm just gonna put a couple of coffee beans on top. Just just a couple. Usually you would do that with a drink that has a froth on top of it. It's got it's got coffee in it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with that. This is actually probably the most one of the funkiest looking cocktails that I put together with the garnish. So I'm gonna take a love the straw. Thanks, dear. Appreciate you. I'm gonna take a quick photo of this because I'm proud of it, and we will post it on the Instagram later. Obligatory Instagram post. R.I.P. Watch out, everybody. Oh, the light is so different now. Wow. Wow. I like that. That's cool looking. The question though, really, it's not necessarily about how it looks, although presentation is a big part of the process, at least for some people. You gotta know how it tastes. So, excuse me a moment. Straw's the best part. Sir, you can scissor it. I could, I could. Well, actually, what does it smell like? As I mentioned before, it smells like Kirschwasser. Kirschwasser, Kirschwasser to me um, smells kind of like like dark cherry skins. Not that I've ever actually smelled dark cherry skins, but if you think about it, so this is how I would describe it. Imagine a container of maraschino cherries that's been sitting in your fridge and you take it out of the fridge only to crack the, the cap and then smell the cap only. That's what I'd say that smells like. That would be the way that I, that I, that I think that. Terrible phrasing, it's metal. Metal it is metal, that's true. Scissor it. Oh my. But let's see how it tastes. Posture check. Sorry about that. Oh, also, am I zoomed out, zoom out all the way? Oh, I'm not. Whoopsie. All right. I had to posture check myself. That's amazing. Wow, that is really good. Holy wow. Whoa, that's really good. What the hell is going on there? Okay, let's unpack that for a hot second. Kirschwasser, to me, tastes vaguely like cherries. Now... Now that it's been a little watered down a bit, it, the simple syrup is making it more sweet. It actually tastes almost cotton candy-like, but like not like not like a visceral sweetness, more like um something toned down, but like in a good way. I like that. To be perfectly honest, I'm not getting any like strong espresso or coffee notes on this at all. And actually, I say that now, and Anna's gonna think I'm totally pulling her leg. But Anna, I think you should try this, honestly. It doesn't taste like coffee, I promise. I hate coffee! I know you hate coffee, but it doesn't taste like coffee! It tastes like coffee! I don't think it does taste like coffee! It's okay, it's okay. I'm not gonna try to- I'm not gonna try to convince my fiancé to drink alcohol if she doesn't want to. That's not the game we play around here. It's really good. It's almost like a- a- an almost chocolatey cotton candy. And it's- it's nice. I like that. I oh my god. Smell what would it. I totally try? At the other angle, the straw almost looked normal thanks to the foreshort- the foreshort thing! Oh my god, wait. Oh, Anna, hi. Try it. Maybe? Give it a taste? How does it taste? Oh, it's coffee! Okay, so to Anna, it still tastes like oh! coffee. Oh! she tried it, she tried it, and I'm glad it's that she tried coffee. it. It's a sugary coffee. Actually, you know... Now that I think about it... No, 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 I'm thinking about it now. I'm thinking about it more. It is... Yeah, you know what? I can see, like, strawberry. No, not strawberry. It's like a almost a raspberry, like a raspberry latte. Okay, it's it tastes like a raspberry latte, venti, which is the medium size, completely filled up with ice. So I guess it's a frappuccino. Raspberry frappuccino, no whipped cream, and just the normal amount of sugar. Yeah, no, no, I don't need whipped cream. I'm just saying that's what it kind of reminds me of. It's a, it's taking on like a cherry, raspberry. I'm kind of stuck between the two there, but it's really, really good. It's sweet. It's fruity in that's a way. I don't want cream. cool. Take the cool whip away from me. I don't want it. Give me the cool whip. Do you have a spoon like to put it in? I don't know where my bar spoon is. <laughs> I lost my bar spoon. Did I drop it on the ground somewhere? Maybe if I look from the ground, <laughs> I just. <laughs> sit here on the ground. Really Maybe the bar spoon will on. appear magically. Bar spoon? Where? Oh my god! I found the bar spoon while sitting on the ground. It was on the couch. It worked. Sometimes, taking a moment to yourself really helps your current situation. 
I don't know how good that is. Mental health. How good it is? It's it's cool. Whip it. Oh, it's molding. Don't touch that. <laughs> right, okay, sorry. Unless, unless, no. unless. No. Okay. No. Okay. If there's mold in it, you no are not No moldy cool it. whip. Don't use the moldy cool whip. We'll have to wait till next time when I buy non moldy cool whip, or <laughs> rather buy cool whip and then not forget about it for two months. It has definitely been like three or four. It's been a hot minute for sure. Anyway. Thor. Final thoughts. Closing thoughts on Blackjack, which was made with brandy, Kirschwasser, espresso, and simple syrup. This is such a delightful combination. I honestly. When I sometimes when I buy different spirits, it's because I saw it once in a book and I only know it by one recipe. And I found like one recipe that used Kirschwasser, and I kind of promptly forgot about it because it really wasn't that good to me. I didn't really like it. This is really really good, and I did not expect that the 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 fruitiness of the Kirsch would combine so well with the espresso. Like even like I'm I'm a coffee person. I like to drink coffee, and it didn't taste coffee -y to me but then again maybe that's because i've kind of like my taste has been like diluted a little bit because of the amount of coffee i drink i drink coffee every day and is making a face at me eh, eh, i can do that back eh, rock on coffee cocktail wednesday night game room with an x ah. rock on rock on dudes rock on anyway i love it blackjack is an excellent cocktail and that makes me think too Sometimes, sometimes the cocktail that you find in a book is representative of the quality of the book's cocktails. And to be perfectly honest, I this is the first recipe that I've pulled from this book, and I'm already really impressed by it. And I actually caught myself reading some of it the other day, and I'm really happy that I did. It's it's cool. I can't wait to see what other. I, I, I if I find anything interesting there, I will post it on my Instagram story, the the the, the cocktail insta. I may even share it in the Discord. I'll share it everywhere. The things that if what what are we interested in? I don't know. We'll figure things out. Discussion for later. <laughs> Great. Now we're both around to the... Oh. Oh my god, I didn't even read the chat. Coffee gross, says little Abe. Some would agree. Oh, Anna gave me bread. I don't, I don't really want the bread right now, though. But thank you. I just posted it. That's okay. I'm gonna leave this for my desk when I go play the game. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I'll take a bite of it now. Consumption. Mm. It's toasty. R.I.P. Anna, the targeted actual scream of coffee. Coffee haters. Now we're both dropping to sleep. Yeah, I might be up for a little while. Speaking of being up for a little while, this is not where the content ends. Cocktail hour may be coming to a close. However, I'm going to play some Graveyard Keeper on the other side. I've been, I took a look at my Steam analytics, and apparently I've played this game for 75 hours, and I've done 22 streams on it so far, which is probably the longest series I've done so far. I haven't really been in the stream world for very long, but it just kind of puts things in perspective. Finally, finally we've made a shit ton of progress, if I can be so bold to say that, so I'm looking forward to where things go next. To everybody who came around for the cocktail portion of the show, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming in. It was very, very lively tonight, and I love streams like that. I also love streams where people are just kind of chilling out, because that I, I think of it this way. If people are chatting, that means it's like it's got that like speakeasy energy, where people are like, I'm drinking, and I'm talking. And if it's quiet, it's like that lounge energy. It's like you've got the lo-fi in the background, and you can just chill out and listen to a dude make an idiot of himself on the internet while attempting to try new things, and maybe you'll learn something new. That's the way that I see it. Do you agree? Cool. Do you not? That's also cool. You're entitled to your opinion. To everybody who came along, thanks again. I appreciate you. I appreciate you greatly. Hopefully you come back next time or you stick around for the game part. If that's not your thing, I respect it. That's why we do a variety of things around here. So to you guys, if there is an evening time around you, I don't know why I said it like that, then have a wonderful rest of your evening. If it's the afternoon where you are, then I hope the rest of your day goes really, really well. And if it's the morning and you're waking up, then perhaps you've got espresso in your cup as well. Thank you all for coming along, and I'll see you all on the other side. And until then, y'all, party on, and peace out. Bye, guys! This is a little ditty I call Diddy. That's my ditty. <laughs> Thank you for watching me produce my ditty for you.